he opened the door? No. I've been standing there since and he has refused to open the door. What kind of doctor is this now? She should come and give us a situation report. What's wrong with him? Take your medications. Not try. Your health is of paramount interest to me. Your heart is very weak, Chief. And I don't think it will survive another attack like this. I have so much to do, Doctor. I cannot stay cooped up in bed like chicken. Or have you forgotten I have a big empire to run? Yes, I know you. I know. But you can't really get some of your functions to your grandsons. After all, they've grown up enough to take over from you. Hand over my holding to those two. Well, they should at least wait until I'm dead. And if I can't do anything about it, not even then. But Chief, they remain your only relations for now. Regrettably so. But, Dr. Cliff, I didn't invite you here to come and dish out advices to me. Doctor, tell me, can I get out of here and resume my work? If you ask for my sincere opinion or medical advice, I feel you should just retire. But a month rest would help to amend your heart at least. A month? Yes, a month. Uh, I have to take my leave. Anyway, thank you. Uh, remember to send your bills to my accountant. Yes, yeah, okay, sir. Is he dead? No. No, he's not dead. But I'm afraid his heart is very weak now and uh, cannot survive on an attack like this. Well, that is to be expected, you know, uh, being as old as he is. Doctor, please, can't anything be done? No, madam. Nothing else can be done than to make sure he takes his medications, enjoy enough rest. I know the chief to be a very stubborn man. But you must try as much as possible to make him stay off his feet. All right, Doctor. Um, doctor, can we go up to see him now? Oh, yes, you can. But don't stay too long. Oh, of course we will. Thank you very much, Doctor. Tom, I'm not home. Oh, I, I am. Just go ahead. I'll, I'll meet you guys then. Let me see Dr. Cleef to the door. Grandfather is going to pull through this heart attack, or do you see a relapse coming? Oh, well, uh, with matters as delicate as this, you never can tell. But I believe that he will sit through this time. Oh, um, don't get me wrong. I was only worried and concerned to his state of health. It's expected. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Chief, we just want to see how you're feeling. I'm not dead yet, if that is what you came to confirm. Ah, uh, uh, Grandpa. No one is wishing you dead. Our only concern is for you. Huh. Well, before we go, is there anything we can get for you? Something that will make you more comfortable? No, Ruth. I am very comfortable. I don't think I need anything. Thank you. Chief. He doesn't want to be disturbed.
breakfast to your grandpa upstairs, okay? Okay, mom. Be careful on the steps. Grace! Yes. Move these teacups to the dining room. Grandpa didn't like the food. Did he even open it to see it? I just told him that I brought his breakfast and he started shouting on me. So what did you say his problem was? He said he's not dead yet, that he's coming to eat. But didn't you tell him the doctor said he should stay off his feet for at least a month? When he comes downstairs, you can say that to him yourself. Because me, I'm not ready to get my head beaten off. Foolish girl. It's your late father who bites off heads. You, Rose, I can almost read your mind. You think I'm too weak to survive so that you and your brass can take over. Is that not it? You, get up immediately. Says you should be eating. Damn that doctor, please. Who thinks he knows everything? Grandpa, you should be in a lighter mood this morning. I have to run, I have to get to the office. Follow that lead, or you can't find an excuse. Sorry to disappoint you, Grandpa. As you can see, I've not finished eating my breakfast. Absent, at least I can rest. Now I know which is worse, his absence or his presence. Well, that's what you get for being the infamous Chief Thompson's secretary. Thank you so very much. Anyway, I was on my way to lunch, so I just thought that um, I could come ask you if you would accompany me. Sorry, you're late. Someone already asked me. Who's that? Hey, tell me, what are you doing here? Well, the same thing you came to do, but the difference is that you beat me to it. So it seems then. The sunshine, are you ready? Yeah, I'll just get my hand back. Alright then. I'll see you later. Alright, Tom. Have fun. And your boss. Don't forget that. As if I could. 
So, how is he? Hope he's great and speedy. Well, you know, Grandpa is doing well, thank you very much. Mm. I guess he's giving you guys hell for his helpless state. Hell is an understatement. You see, Grandpa is as cantankerous as ever, but we wouldn't have him any other way. I really don't know what would have happened if that man had died, you know. Speak for yourself, Salty. Someone else's world wished him dead. At least, we start to get him out. No, thank you. Yeah. You know what? You're amazing with that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how much you start to get? Can it buy me your love? That's for starters. At least you can go wherever you want to and do whatever you want. Man, money can talk. Now I see why you keep refusing my proposal each time I ask you to marry me. Hey, hey, hey. Who's getting serious here? No, but seriously now, don't you think you should give my proposal a serious thought? Hey, you promised never to bring the subject of marriage again. At least allow me to enjoy this free drink. Okay, you win. But I'll keep bugging you until you accept my proposal. You slept well. Good morning. Really, I don't see what is good in the morning. Well, I'm sorry about that, but once in a while you're bound to feel that way. But when you get better and start moving around, you will feel differently. So, what do you want? Well, I was on my way to the office. I just thought that um, I should come ask you if you want me to do anything for you at the office. What are you feeling like? My successor? No, I just thought that. Because I'm not incapacitated yet. I can still run my company. Even though I'm on my sick bed. Sick bed or dead bed? I didn't hear what you said. I said, excuse me. I'm off to work. I'll see you when I get back. Have a lovely day. is making you eat your carpet thing. Dave, I've suffered. I've eaten shit. Look, just calm down and tell me who you're quarreling with. Who else? Who else can design to mock me in that manner if not your eccentric and cantankerous grandfather? I even thought you were talking about something very important. You and I know Grandpa's life's work is working towards being so negative. No, Dave. You are the one who did not understand Grandpa. What he did today went beyond the power of negativity. So, what happened? Well, I went to Grandpa this morning to ask him if there's anything that needs his attention in the office for me to tidy up for him. I said I went to him this morning to ask him. No, 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 I understand what you said. But what amazes me is how could you do such a thing when you know the man has become so sensitive of late? For Christ's sake, whether he likes it or not, he will die someday. Tom, it's okay. So what was his reply? When I went, he didn't even reply my greeting. He said, uh, what am I feeling like? Am I feeling like his success or something that I should get out of his face and strong enough to take care of his business? Could you imagine how sarcastically he said, oh God, I never felt something like that. So is you right? Is that all you have to say? Of course, what do you want me to say? 
I mean, the man is not that frail that he cannot take control of his empire. I wouldn't blame him if he thinks you're so much in a hurry to take over his position. Jesus Christ. I don't even know why I told you in the first place. I should have known that you would take sides. Well, Thomas, you're not getting any pizza at this angle. You just take it easy. No wonder. After all, you're not my father's son. Mr. Tong, I just wanted to know if I can take a ride with you. That is, if you're going home straight. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm going home straight from the office. Is there anything important you want to do at home? Yes, the chairman requested I should bring some file to the house for him to sign. Okay, if that's the only reason why you want to go to the house, I can as well drop the file for you. Well, I'm not sure. If the shaman will be happy about that. Why would he be unhappy? He's my grandfather. Oh, well, you know, you can. The shaman is very unpredictable. I, I don't want any kind of problems. Well, if you know you don't trust me enough to take the file to him, well, you can wait after a close of work. Then uh, you come and join me. I'll drop that. Oh, no, no, why shouldn't I trust you? I trust you very well. <laughs> and. Um, uh, I'll be very grateful if you take it to him. That will save me more time to take care of um, some business in the office. So uh, you can drop it there. I should drop it here. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, please uh, remind me before the close of work so that I won't forget the file. Okay. okay. Uh, please extend my greetings to the chairman. I will. Thank you. you requested for from Charles, the accountant. And what was his excuse for not bringing them himself? Well, I don't know. He was hurrying off to somewhere, so I was going, coming home and I gave them to me to give to you. Um, let me go and freshen up. Excuse me. This wicked old man is practically running a gold mine by himself. No wonder he refuses to die. To think what I stand to inherit at the occasion of his death. But wait a minute. This one is so uptight and sensitive about his position as chairman of the empire. Are you sure he'd want to relinquish his hold even when dead? Watch still. He may decide to favor that bastard, Dave, more than myself. Tommy, man, I cannot allow that to happen now. Not with knowing what I know. in your eyes. I do? Oh, something entered my eyes. Wow. Please, mommy. My teacher said that is in heaven watching over us. And you know you will not be happy. <laughs> I won't cry anymore, okay? Mommy. Hmm? Please, can you come and read my bedtime story before I go to sleep? Okay. Go back to your room, I'll be there in a moment. Mm. <laughs> I saw Madame Rose in the office morning. Haven't you noticed 
she has not been herself for almost a month now. Yes. She has been refusing her meals, preferring only crackers and water. Do you think she's pregnant? Don't talk rubbish. How can that be? Her husband just died. Have you forgotten? I've not forgotten. How did you not explain any morning sicknesses? A lack of appetite. I believe she's pregnant. That's true. Hey, this is Barely five months after her husband's death. I never would have believed it myself. Okay. Have you seen your madam lately? No. Why? Haven't you noticed she's pregnant again? It's a lie. Okay. It's a lie. Since you are the only person in this household who has I cannot see, she's pregnant again. You don't mean it. But she looks as if she cannot hurt a fly. Mm. Because those people that look so angelic, they are the people that do worse damage. So what would she do about that? Okay. He might not do anything after all when she had the uh, master day. What did he do? Nothing. Let me say she gave this clue to me. You can drop it here. You think you never heard us? No battle for what rightfully belongs to me with that bloody bastard. Whether grandpa wishes it or not, it's time to begin to take over the bed. Make no mistake about that. They don't know me. It's me. It's me, Amber.
Well, Jenny. How has the business been faring since my absence? Um, well, Grandpa, we've not been doing badly. You know, but things haven't been the same with you not holding the tough. Well, everybody, I'm thinking of formally returning to work come Monday. But, Chief, Chief, are you sure? Dr. Cleef said that he... Forget no. Dr. Cleef. What does he know? Grandpa, I think you should uh, have proper rest before resuming work. So that you'll be strong before yeah. resuming work. I have had enough rest as I can get. The rest I get when I die. Grandpa, we're only concerned for you. But if you say you're up to it, why not? We'll gladly welcome you back. No, you are talking sense. <laughs> Is that Grandpa's juice? Yes, it is, sir. Yeah, I think my mom is calling you upstairs. I think she needs you gently. Okay, let me go and see what she needs. He said he was okay and he insisted to go to work. We didn't argue with him because he looked okay to us. You got a judgment on the bedside? Even though he wants you to believe that he has fully recovered, his heart is still very weak. But doctor, is he going to be alright? Well, he, he's falling through. 
All right, his heart is stable. And if all things goes well, he will be back home by next week. Okay. Thank God. And Dr. Oba calls uh, this sudden relapse. Oh, well, we are not too certain yet, uh, since the result of a test is not yet out. But I have no doubt in my mind that it's just a situation of his heart being overstrained. I see. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, will excuse me. I would appreciate this. Thank you. Okay. Gosh, that was a close call. Had Dr. Cliff not been hasty in his conclusion and has done a breakthrough checkup on teeth, I would surely have been fried. But I'm sure I've turned off of the substance to clean him up. Man, that man has a teeth skull. Well, I must devise another plan in order to get what I want. This time, I must be very careful. We compliment no, so. Nah, uh, what's in nah. game? What's in Bet, game? Don't Bet. trust me again. <laughs> Bet, I mean, really? I'm telling you. Let's see, listen. We need a lot of privacy to talk what we want to discuss right now. Okay. Let's see outside. Let's see. You now are. I want you to come and work for me as my grandfather's nurse. Why me? If your grandfather is ill and needs a nurse, can't his doctor get him one? No, Jojo, you don't understand. You see, see, listen. The old man has been very sick and refuses to die. Okay? And I can't wait till eternity. I, I don't have such patience. So I can't wait until he dies for me to claim what rightfully belongs to me. So I want an insider to successfully send him to his grandfather's. Okay. So, what's the need for me then? Um, how about a cash payment of 500,000 naira? Half now. Then the balance will be paid after the job is completed. Then an expense trip to America. Then. You stay there until the heat dies down, then you can come back. I'll say that's the job to do. And um, you've got yourself a deal. So when do I start? Don't worry, I'll contact you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mom, I don't know. I was thinking, um, since Grandpa is coming in tomorrow, it would be a good idea if we'll hire a personal nurse that will be taking care of him. A nurse? Yeah. Why? Like uh, Dr. Cleve rightly said, that grandpa is looking free lately. And uh, if we hire a personal nurse, I think it will go a long way in guiding against the reoccurrence of what happened. I think you have a point there. Why not call Dr. Cleve and see if he'll be of help? It's all right, then I'll just put a call to him straight away. Oh, oh no, Dave, uh, don't, don't worry. I've had all that arranged. Really? Yes. You see, I have a friend whose sister said that she has a friend whose sister's friend's sister is a nurse. So I, when I talked to her about it, she now, you know, you know, relayed the message to her and she agreed to come and help. Are you trying to say she agreed to leave her place of work to take care of grandpa? <laughs> Why not? With the pitas that have been paid at the hospital, immediately she was offered, she jumped at it. That's wonderful news. So when is she going to start? Well, immediately grandpa returns. Well, it's all good. At least that's one big load off our backs, believe me. Um, in that case, Mom, uh, let me put a call through. Uh, Grace?
rather rain on the roof than to mourn it. And all the things that I wanted to say. And the angry words came oh, from me. Hey. Uh, thank God I caught you at home. The nurse. Her name is Jojo. Jojo, meet my mom. Good afternoon, madam. Good day. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I hope my son has explained everything to you, especially the fact that you're going to live in. Yes, he did, madam. Good. So, that's um, Call the house girl to come and take her in. Uh, Grace? Grace? Yeah. Come. Uh, please, uh, help us show her yes. Thank you. You're welcome once again. Thank you. So, how is Grandpa doing? <sighs> so, so, who's that? Hey, Mom. What are you watching? Football? Since when? Since now. <laughs> Alright, Bob. Let me get something. Enjoy yourself. and the dosage are written down on it. Okay. Uh, make sure it takes it as I can do. Responding to treatment. Yes, sir. Um, Grandpa, I, I just came to find out how you're doing. I, I hope you're getting stronger. Sorry, Chief. 
to the kitchen. I'll bring them back when he's ready. That's okay. I'll wait for him. Okay. Grandma, please get well soon. We really do miss you and your gruff nature. Please don't leave us yet. Uh, d did you find a nose? No, I couldn't find her. I couldn't see her anywhere. That is regrettable. I wanted to find out from her if she had administered the drug as I've been instructed her. And then to find out about her from her also what this is all about. You know, it doesn't really matter. I wonder if the test comes out. And we can start off from there. So I see. While he's still in coma, everything is okay. His heart is old enough. Thank God for that, at least. Dave. Yes, ma'am. Did you inform your brother Tom about Grandpa's condition? Tom was went for a party last night, and I've been calling his number all day, but it's been really unavailable. Father is not dead yet, but he's incapacitated. That means the mantle falls on me now to take charge of everything because I will not allow this great empire to be crumbled. What? Enough. I think I've answered your questions. Right now, I want you to go call all the head of department to meet me in my office right now, excluding David, my brother. Now, get going. <laughs> Um, so, gentlemen and ladies, as you all know, my grandfather, Chief A.J. Thompson, the chairman of this company, has been sickly and indisposed lately. In my own opinion, this company has been abandoned like a ship without a captain, and I intend to change that. 
from today, I have taken over from my grandfather. I make every decision in this office. And everything that goes on in this office must get my approval. Is that understood? I'm sorry, Mr. Tom. When did this change take place? I mean, I thought we should receive a notice from the company's legal team about any change of power. What? Are you by any means questioning my authority here? No, 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 Mr. Tom. I, I think things should be done the right way. At least the shareholders of the company should be here at this meeting, if not your family members. You shut your big mouth. I did not call you here to think. I think you're going to constitute the proverbial thorn in my flesh, and I will not allow myself to make that mistake. I, I'm sorry, Mr. Tom, but, but I, 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 um, I know that this company is going to miss your services, but we intend to take that risk. You have been relieved of your duty. I'm sorry, Mr. Tom, don't fire me. I have a wife and two children. If you, if you fire me, how do I feed them, sir? Well, you should have thought of that before questioning my orders. Um, Linda. Yes, sir? I want you to place an advert in the newspapers for a chartered accountant. Because I know there are too many out there looking for one. Okay, sir. Um, is there any other objections to my instruction? Yes, sir. Go. I can see that uh, you all learn very quickly and you are very intelligent at that. Well, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, every contract, every transaction must get my approval before it's done. No money is withdrawn without my say so. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Good. I am in total control. Zero, Chemo, please accompany this man out of this company. Thoughts. What's this nonsense I hear of you taking over as chairman and you sacking the accountant? I can see you've lost the little man as they thought you in kindergarten. Is this how to budge in someone's office without notice? I'm not here for your nonsense, so answer my question. I'm sorry, Pastor Dave. What was that your question again? Remind me. I said, on whose authority did you presume to take over as chairman of A.J. Thompson Holdings? And what did the accountant by name Mr. Charles do to Anna Sack? Now tell me, which one of them is your point of interest that I took over the mantle of leadership, I mean the chairman of A.J. Thompson's hold in Nigeria Limited, or that I got that need to it, Mr. Charles fired. You actually have no rights to do either of the two. I have every right and every authority to do anything as long as this company is concerned. Oh really? Is that what you think? It's obvious, isn't it? I am the only descendant of Chief A.J. Thompson. And I'm meant to take over mantle of leadership at the instance of his death. You know something, Tom? I didn't want to say this earlier, but I have to say it anyways. I feel so ashamed for you. I mean, how can you be seated there struggling for material wealth when Grandpa is at the hospital having a battle of his life? The man is not even dead and you're just sharing his properties. Who is talking about sharing here? Nobody is sharing anything. I am the only heir of Chief A.J. Thompson. I own everything here. Huh? You see, it is my prerogative to do as I deem fit. As for grandfather, don't bother yourself. The old ghost will die someday. And the sooner he dies, the better for all of us concerned. Don't you think so? You're so despicable. I'm so ashamed to call you my brother. No, mother. You know, Dave, we are not really brothers. Don't you know that? You are fair and I am dark. You know, Tom, I will not descend so low to furnish that with a reply. 
but I have this advice for you. Be careful, Tom. Because you see, this hole you're digging could actually turn around to be your grave. Uh oh. Cheers. Thank you for that little quote there. Now get out of my office. Or do you want me to call the bodyguards to throw you out? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Zero! Taking advantage of Grandpa's state of health, Tom declared himself chairman of AJ Thompson. He even went further to sack our most trusted accountant of many years, you know, to exercise his power. But, but how can Tom be so wicked as to demote your grandpa, even when he has not died yet? No, no, David, I don't. I don't believe it. Mom, you better believe it. Because Tom has gone further to declare himself the only living descendant and heir apparent to Chief AJ Thompson. <laughs> he must be joking then. Has he forgotten about your uncle Raymond in America? Okay, what about you and your sister Angela? Don't you count too? We don't count. Tom sees Uncle Raymond as a threat. Yes. Tom actually cold-bloodedly denied my brotherhood with him. Wait, what, what, what do you mean denied your brotherhood with him? He told me simply that I'm not his brother and I don't count in the general scheme of things. You see, Mom, there is no limit to what Tom can do to get what he wants, which is gaining absolute control of A.J. Thompson Holdings. Job. How do you mean? He died, didn't he? The old fool is at the hospital. Listen, Jojo, I didn't pay you to put him to coma. But I, I made sure I put enough of those drugs to snuff him out. That, that means... That means he refused to be snuffed out, Jojo. So what happens now? The, does that mean I'm no longer going to America? You will go. You will. But you see, this time, it's not America. I am going to take you to a place where you are going to remain permanently. Tommy. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tommy the Fox Tommy. likes fixing loose ends. And uh, you are my part of the loose end that I want to fix, you know? Tommy, no, no. Tommy the Fox in a fix.
Linda, I want to give you the honor of having lunch with me today. Oh, sir, I can't. I have a heavy workload. Uh, Linda, come on, let's dispense that, sir. You can call me Tommy. I don't bite. All right, Tommy. But I can't. Hey, Linda, listen. You are going to have lunch with the German Chief Executive Officer of AJ Thompson Holdings. Chief Thomas Thompson Jr. That's me. I won't sack you. Just go. Okay? Tidy up your table. Let's make it dinner while I tidy up my own table. If you continue to be a good girl. Come on, Tommy. Haven't I always been a good girl? Really? Yeah. So what about Dave? Dave? What about him? Mm -hmm. Dave and I are just friends. Mm. Yeah. Just friends? Yeah, just friends. Well, Linda, whatever it means. Just know that I don't adapt too well to share. You don't have to. Believe me. Dave and I have nothing in common. We're just friends. Mm. Yeah. Alright. We'll see. Yeah, see. Go ahead and eat your food. Let me watch you. Mm. Hello. Hello, darling. 
How are you? I didn't see you at the office today. What happened? Yeah, I had the day off. You had the day off? Now who would have thought that of my brother, you know, giving a member of staff a day off? Big fool. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Dave. I thought I heard another voice. No, I'm all alone here. Okay, um, well, um, speaking of being alone, uh, I'm alone at, you know, the Sky Hotel, and I think it would be one nice idea for you to come keep me company. Um, you see, Dave, I can't really make it. I'm really indisposed. You're indisposed? What's the problem? No, not really. Just normal female visit of the month. Okay then, um, my luck. Um, I'll see you at the office Monday then. Okay, bye Dave. Bye. Now you can see that there's nothing between Dave and I, at least not on my own side. So why didn't you tell him that I was with you? All in good time, my love. All in good time. The car still dirty. I was more mother and tell me say my wash on, but I know if you wash on. Joseph, I said why is my car still dirty? Now they talk say I know if you wash the motor, I may no vest. What I'm rubbish are you talking about? Are your hands burnt? Say I'm I no born. They wish I wash your man go. I don't want to lose my job, or girl. What do you mean you don't want to lose your job? Now chairman. Give us instructions, say no, no, take any instruction from anybody except him for this house. So I know if we do anything for anybody except him. Who the hell is chairman? No, I got Thomas, so I got Thomas, now be the chairman. He said if we do anything for anybody for this house, we go lose our job. Let me have my car keys. Huh? I said let me have the car keys. Ah. Okay. None of them is the instruction when they talk now. Joseph, let me have my car keys. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, go sack me. As you do here, so if you enter now, my own don't finish with that. When you go say, when you go say you don't fire me, all those small, small grandma where they fall am, you know, go there that time. All those that will be where they fall am, go begin hit me. I bet you. Jimo. Sir? Who gave me a car? Now, first of all, where they go drop a walk with the fan? Me, I know they. Jimo! You know they here. Yeah. Oh, you are sent to mom. Fire. Jimo! You are fired. You know they here. Yeah. All those big boys where they fall on. Suppose no. Thomas. Chairman. Thomas. Now, Chairman, you go to the corner now, no. Chairman. I'm going to go to the office again. Angela, please go get me a cab. A cab? What do you need a cab for? Is your car bad? Mom, 
if you know Thomas. I repeat, if you know Thomas, your son, warn him. Because I won't take this insult again. Dave, calm down and tell me what he has done this time. I mean, can you imagine Thomas instructing the driver and other workers in this compound, telling them not to take orders from no one but him? I don't understand. How do you mean? Can you imagine? This morning, I instructed the driver to wash the car. Okay. Only for me to come out to see it's still dusty. I asked him why. And for him to tell me some trash about him not wanting to lose his job. Hey, can you imagine that? Is there anything one cannot see in this world? Eh? So what's the meaning of all this now? Well, I don't know. But what I do know is this. Please. Tell Tom that if he has a problem, he should please take it out on someone else because I won't take this insult lying down. Oh, the cab is waiting. It's okay, sir. Have a nice day, okay? What was that all about? I don't know. Angela, I don't just know. Ever since your grandfather went into coma, Thomas just changed. He has become a different man. Hey, God. I'm finished. Come on, Mom. It hasn't gotten that bad now. It hasn't. I am afraid, Angela. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid for. Okay? It's not important. We have strict orders not to allow you to the premises. What's this rubbish? Who are you? Listen, I don't know who your chairman is, whom I think is the most stupid person on earth and a very madman too. Do you understand me? Now, I will not take this rubbish from the both of you, all right? Please excuse me, and you two better leave here before I call the securities to throw you two out. Do you understand me? Now, excuse me. Then are you deaf? Leave. Listen, this is my this is where I work. Where I have been working too. I will not take this nonsense. Please excuse me.
just couldn't seem to turn that car around. Till in the distance, 